So what we, what we did, what Dardick and Lighty did, was an analysis of all 1.8 million bills. So we do this. This is the fourth year that we've done this. So we're pretty proud of their work product, which says, what does it say? It says, hey, listen, the south suburbs, which were recently reassessed, are up 19%. And 15 of the south suburbs, which are 13 of which are in black areas, are up 30%. So we think that's significant, and we think it's extraordinarily significant because people are going to open up their mailboxes and they're going to say, what's going on? Well, the what's going on is here. This is our new programming. It's called Where Does Your Money Go? And it shows that this particular residence went up by $3,800, but it tells you which taxing district increased your taxes and by how much. In this instance, it, they're all Moors. Okay, so this is a residence. Then on this side, we have for you, I don't know if you can see this well enough, but this is a commercial building, okay? So this is a commercial building. Believe it or not, it's up 1.4 million. Why is it up 1.4 million? Because everybody comes in, they stop me on the street, I walk underground to Macy's, they like, why did my taxes go up? Why did my taxes go up? This shows why. Look here in this area, a new TIF was created. The school district went up, and by how much? These are all moors. But this is currently online on our website, cookcountytreasure.com. You can download your bill right now. You don't have to wait to get it on July 1st or July 2nd. But if you also punch on either one of these, the financial statements of each of these taxing districts is available online. Chicago's being reassessed as we speak for next year. So next year, yeah, next year, look, next year's report is going to be the 800 pound, pound elephant or one of the big five <laughs> in a jungle and it's going to be next year. Next year is going to be, oh, the OMG. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit more? Well, well, look, that's pretty easy to figure out. When was the last time you walked down State Street or Michigan Avenue? How about empty? Okay, so if all these commercial buildings are empty, when the assessor comes in, he goes, you know, I got to give this guy who owns this building a break. So if you give commercial a break, break and theirs go down, the residences go up. The residences go up. So that's pretty obvious. I mean, look at the Gold Coast. You know, if, if the keys at Water Tower get turned back over to the bank and Water Tower is you know, almost 50% empty, that tax flow is going to go down and everybody who lives in the surrounding area is going to pay more to make up for the fact that commercial went down. So, so the apartments and the residences were all being assessed at 10%, okay? All being assessed at 10%. What happened was the assessor came in and said, wait a minute, some of it's residential and some of it's commercial. So he basically divided it up. So whatever portion of your building is commercial, it went up. So now you have these buildings that were just assessed as residential being assessed as residential and commercial. So once you get into the commercial category, the bill's going to go up. 10% on residences and 25% on commercial. So these buildings that have a combination of both, for the commercial portion of the building, it went up 25%. And residential owners then have to? They pick it up. So, so the big question for the city next year is how many of these buildings exist in the city of Chicago and how bad will the commercials get hit? I, I would say that, you know, um, you know how the cloud turns dark before there's a storm? <laughs> I would say that <laughs> the clouds are out in Chicago. I would say it's getting kind of dark. I mean, people are like waiting for the rumble, you know. They don't think there's going to be an earthquake, but they think there's going to be a huge downpour. I think when people look at the south suburbs, they wonder, could something like that, probably not to such a significant degree, but you know, could an increase in residential taxes happen in a similar way, at least in the city? Um, is it possible? You know, I'm, I'm not a genie, and I don't, I'm not a genie, and I don't have a crystal ball, 
but if I were not the treasurer and I was just like sitting in some storefront and I had like a crystal ball and I was going to make a prediction about the city of Chicago next year, I would say it's going up. I would say it's going up. And I would say residences are probably in for a shock. You know? If you know who the government is, you go to who's running that government, right? <laughs> it's pretty simple. We did this so people would quit coming in here and saying, why did they go up? We just say, people keep saying, why did they go up? Why did they go up? It's a pretty simple why they went up. Look at this. Look at these areas that drove it up. We're hoping that they go to those electeds, especially the state elected, so that they can start to look at some sort of property tax reform in Springfield. Now, that's been going on since Truman left office. There have been thousands of reports about, you know, how to correct the property tax system, and it just seems that it doesn't happen. I mean, that we show statistically in this report for the last 30 years, property taxes have gone up. So what's the likelihood of them going down next year? Slim, slim. <laughs> How about this? Try this on for size. I have just given you something which is amazing. I can tell you where every last penny is going to be spent, every last cent. So here's my message. How about read my bill? I spent a long time putting this bill together, okay? They spent a long time. Hal and Todd spent a long time doing this report. How about reading what we're sending you? How about reading what's in the mail? How about just opening it up, stop complaining, read it so you know what's happening to you? If you have questions. If you, you have, have questions. Answers. Yeah, <laughs> if you have questions. I mean, there, there won't be any questions after you read because you will have all the answers in front of you. I do have one question. Okay, good. <laughs> so um, I see that there's COVID adjustments. Um, right. How has the pandemic sort of impacted? Um, well, I think during, during the pandemic, what the assessor did was he gave everybody credit so their taxes went down. But, you know, masks are off, sanitizers are out, COVID adjustments are over. So, you know, things are going to go up.